We see them every day in the streets. Yo! If you're from Trinidad and Tobago, I'm sure, positive, that you have seen them somewhere throughout the nation selling at the side of the road. The bread industry is a multi-million, probably billion dollar industry. I don't know. All I know is I just eat bread every day. I eat bread just now. So kudos to Quelos for giving the young people of Trinidad and Tobago an opportunity to become an entrepreneur. But are they really entrepreneurs? I don't know. Welcome inside another edition of JD's vlog. What's up? My name is JD. Well guys, what up? Um, unfortunately, this vlog is not a very long vlog. Um, I wanted to interview one of the young people that Quelos um, have out on the streets selling bread. I did, however, talk to one of, actually two of the young people um, at, an, at a location I'm not going to um, disclose because I don't want them to get in any trouble. Because I did not get, I applied for um, permission to interview them. I wanted to do things the right way. I didn't just want to roll up on them and um, interview them. So I went through the proper channels I called the uh, company. I didn't get onto the sales manager. It took me a couple days well. I waited days and days for a reply and finally, eventually, the sales manager, um, secretary, he called me and I explained my vision. My vision was just simply this. Talk to one of the young people and find out what is, what is the experience like selling bread for Quelos. And um, explain to us what is entrepreneur program is really about because they hear so much oops, sorry, because they hear so much uh, negative things about it oh Quelo exploiting them trying and them and all kind of different things and my thing was you know what at the end of the day young people are getting an opportunity to do something and make some money but the entrepreneur part was the part that I wanted to understand what is that really about unfortunately nobody in Quelo is not the supervisor not even tech really the secretary um, not even the sales youths and them could really explain what the entrepreneur part of this business is. Um, my thing is, look, at the end of the day, kudos because they're getting an opportunity to do something positive. As a matter of fact, off the record, I spoke to one of the young men and he has such an amazing, powerful story coming from one of the hotspot areas in Trinidad and Tobago. And he said, you know what, I prefer to be out here. I know no shame selling my bread than to go and shoot people and rob people and breaking people's house and I really wanted to put him on camera and he was excited about it but you know I'm still waiting on permission from Quelos. I don't think maybe because I'm not TV6 or something maybe they don't want to give me the permission so I said hey you know what let me come and find out what you think what you think Quelos do a good job they're not doing a good good job some people say oi they're pulling up in front of other bread places and that's advantage some people say well, it's business. We expect them to do. That's how businesses go. I want to hear what you think. So, until then, I guess we had to call this part one. Hopefully, I get the permission from uh, Quelos and they give me the permission to interview the young man. I really want to to hear his story. I think he'll be a blessing and he'll encourage a lot of young, uh, other young people to, to do something positive with their life and to make some money. But, uh, and get permission so until then we're calling this one part one hopefully we'll have a part two where we could continue the quelos young entrepreneur young people selling i don't know what we call it young people selling our bread on the side of the road vlog my name is jd remember to like my page pull this down a little bit like my page share this video Maybe Quelos might see it and call me up and say or message me and get in contact with me and say, JD, do part two. We like the vibes. Of course, I want to say thank you. This episode was sponsored by Dream Builder Color Studios, located right there in Arima. The information is in the bio. The information is right here. Call them up if you're interested to get paint, if you want to do little, you know, um, fix up your house. They have all kind of thing there. Everything that had to do with renovation and fixing your house. You have a brand new home. You need to check them out. Dream Builder Color Studios. Big up Wendell. Thank you very much. Daddy, I forget you. All right, so tune in next week. Another episode of JD's vlog, like my page, share the link, share this, 
share it out, put it in all your groups. <laughs> Let everybody see. And of course, I want to hear what you think. I want to hear what you think. Quailers doing a good thing, they're not doing a, doing a good thing. Or maybe somebody out there, maybe you all have information about how this entrepreneur thing does work. I don't know, share with us. Hit you up in the comments. Later, earlier. Bam. Put it in